Baskerville Fish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Visit Florida. Your Florida side is calling. Go to visitflorida.com. Amelia Island. Come make memories. All right, guys. What we're going to do is get these fiddlers, go right through the bottom, come out the top. Wow, straight That's shot. <laughs> We started putting them on these hooks, dropping them into the zone right between pilings, and that's where they live. That was a swing and a miss. That's what we like to call it. Oh. Nothing, dude. Another swing and a miss. Oh! oh. Now it's war. I'm telling you, this is serious. We're sitting there and, and Alan actually starts breaking the barnacles off the dock. We're gonna clean off the piling there. That creates like a chum. A moment later, I got a bite right there. There we go. Madison's got one on. Get the net, get the net. You're in such close, tight areas with pilings and the bridge structure. You can do it, Madison. Come on, Madison. Nice. All right. Hey. Madison, way to go, man. Madison, you are the whisper. I'm on the board. We nicknamed him the Sheephead Whisper. I caught that first one and I was on top of the world. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. And that was fun. All right. I gotta be honest, he got a little cocky. I mean, I just feel so accomplished right now. It's unbelievable. It took a lot of skill to pull them out of that, that area. Everyone's gotta be good at something, right? I thought I had the Sheephead division under control for the rest of the day. I'm gonna retire. I think we've caught sailfish with a lot more ease than we've tried to catch these fish. Man, y'all look like a bunch of bird dogs on point there. Now it's personal. <laughs> yeah, I was frustrated because worse than not catching one, I couldn't get a bite. You got a nibble? No. Frog, you're like the piling whisperer. <laughs> I got to be honest, I was kind of nervous going over to this next sheep's head spot. And I was thinking, I'm not going to catch one of these things. They're really tough. This mouth of this little river right here goes all the way around. So the, the water comes rushing out and they'll come hang around these docks there. And it was the closest quarters you can ever imagine. And I'm thinking, maybe I'll get a bite, but there's no way I'm going to sneak them out of there. Crazy. I look over, Froggy's got them on. Oh, nice one, Froggy. And they fought. You got to kind of lead them away from the pilings. And just when you think you're out of the woods, he goes to the other set of pilings and you have to change your angle, but there's just not a lot of room in there. Oh, Froggy. Oh, God, Froggy. He's working around the pilings, I'm watching it. Even my competitive nature went away because I was excited to get another fish in the boat. Oh, I'm Froggy! Oh, God, Froggy. Hey! Regardless of the size of the fish or the size of the tackle you're using, fishing's fishing. Now we have dinner for two. You yeah. got him by an inch. I got it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we won't touch that one. Madison's caught one, so he's conquered the elusive sheep's head. Now Froggy's caught one, and here I am these are definitely sheep that eating these, right? Oh yeah, no question about no it. No doubt about it. I mean, I can't, I can't seem to get these bites. Okay, well, it's official. I uh, suck at sheep head fishing. It's not working out. I think he's picking me off. Might be the jig head. You have a jig head? No. I look over at Froggy, and he's got his jig on, and he's getting bite after bite. I got that. Oh, no way! Oh, oh Froggy! Oh, oh working between yeah. the pilings, Froggy. You got it. Oh, Pete. Oh God. Oh, it's a nice one. Get it, get it. Froggy, come on. Oh. I think it's the jig, man. That jig is on fire. Put a jig on, cast it down, and I was on. Oh, Pete! Ooh, ooh, got to get in. I'm diving in, dude. I'm diving. I'm swinging him in. I'm not going to wait for the net. There's no way I was waiting for that broken net. Hey, what you is... guys were going to lose it in that net. I jig hit. Yes. Yeah. Well, I finally became a man today. I was amazed at the power of these little fish. They're like little pit bulls. This stuff's easy. <laughs> Fishing for these sheep's head I thought was going to be eh. It turned out to be extremely exciting, very challenging, all around awesome. I got that, dude. Oh, no way! Oh, oh Froggy! Just call me the whisperer. Madison's got oh, him on. Madison's got him on. Madison's Madison's got him. <laughs> that was something else. Oh, look. Is that Pete's hook? <laughs> That's nice. Madison's got him on, everybody. It's a serious battle. Oh! oh. Okay. Oh, you got him now, don't you? Hey, that's a nice one, Frog. Oh, get it, boy. All right. Good golly. 
Froggy's got the sheep head whisper. We're not even gonna talk about the score right now, are we? Now that you finally caught a couple of sheephead on light tackle, what do you think about the fight? Uh, I'm kind of impressed with the amount of effort you got to put in to catch them. That's uh, a nice pivot. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have bent my hook. You know, I came up here thinking we got to catch this, 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 and this. And when the plans got switched on me, for a moment I was like, <gasps> I wanted to do this, but you know what? You got to be able to roll with the punches. You got to be able to adapt. And now I get it. We caught them, we had a blast. It was one of the most fun fishing experiences I've had. Thanks for putting us on. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, thanks, I learned a Fair lot, up. man, learned a lot. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Visit Florida. Your Florida side is calling. Go to visitflorida.com. Amelia Island, come make memories.